Welcome back to Aero Academy's series on IFRS 18. In our first tutorial, we explored the core principles and objectives of IFRS 18. Today, in our second tutorial, we will delve into the key features and requirements of IFRS 18. These include a structured statement of profit and loss, disclosure of management-defined performance measures, and enhanced aggregation and disaggregation guidance. If you haven't watched the first tutorial yet, we highly recommend checking it out for a solid foundation. Stay tuned for our third tutorial, where we will cover the transition to IFRS 18 and industry-specific provisions. The statement of profit and loss is now divided into three main categories, operating, investing, and financing. This structured approach ensures a clearer presentation of financial performance. Income and expenses are categorized to reflect their origin and nature, improving the usefulness of financial statements. Within this structure, IFRS 18 introduces mandatory subtotals such as operating profit or loss in profit before financing and income taxes. These subtotals are essential for providing consistent and comparable measures of a company's performance. Management-defined performance measures, or MPMs, must now be disclosed in a single note within the financial statements. These measures provide additional insights from management's perspective. Companies need to explain the purpose and calculation method of each MPM and reconcile them to the closest IFRS-defined subtotal. IFRS 18 offers enhanced guidance on how to aggregate and disaggregate financial information. The goal is to present material information clearly without overwhelming users with unnecessary details. Companies must carefully consider how they group financial information to avoid obscuring important details. In summary, the key features and requirements of IFRS 18 aim to enhance the clarity and usefulness of financial statements. In our next tutorial, we will discuss the transition to IFRS 18 and industry-specific provisions. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more insights on IFRS 18. For deeper insights and continued learning, Aero Academy offers a range of resources. Visit our website for expert-led webinars and interactive workshops tailored to help you navigate these changes effectively. Thank you for joining Aero Academy. We value your support and would like to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insightful content and updates. Thank you.